video I'm going to show you how to start and stop an Ego electric cordless push mower. Now maybe you inherited one of these, maybe you bought one at a garage sale, or maybe the person that normally uses this in your yard has gone on vacation or away for a while and you don't know quite how to run it. There's a couple things that need to happen for these things to run and I'm going to show you step by step and by the end of the video you're going to be cutting grass. Now starting off with the basics, some people store these with the handles all the way down or the handles halfway up. Maybe they push it up against a wall. The handle has to be in a locked position here and also has to be all the way extended with these two clips locked into place. And now I just want to go over the controls so you know what they are. This roll right here, that's the speed of the travel of the mower. So if you turn it all the way down and you push this button, the mower is going to take off. This lever right here, this is called the bail lever. This is what engages the cutting blades. As you can see, I'm pulling it up to engage it, but nothing's happened. And that's the purpose of the video. I'm going to show you what we need to do next. The mistake that most people make, they think this is just an on off button. So they think you got to push it on, close up the bale, and it's going to start cutting. That's why some people get a little frustrated at these. This is what you got to do. You got to hold in the button at the same time, pull up on the bale. That's how you engage the blades. You can't pull up the bale and then hit the button. That's not going to work. You have to hold down the button first, keep it held down, then close the bale. Now one more tip I want to give you. When you engage the blades, either tip the mower up, engage the blades and let it come down into the grass, or start the blades on concrete or blacktop. Don't start the blades with the mower sitting in the grass. It puts a lot of stress on the actual motor. I'll show you real quick how to stop the mower. It has an electric braking system, so it will stop in about three seconds, and it's best to stop the mower while it's still on the grass. So I'm gonna go ahead and engage it, and all you have to do is let go of the bale. In conclusion, you have to have the handle locked in place. You have to have it fully extended with both of these latched. You have to push down on the on button first and then close up the bale. Then you can go ahead and set the speed at whatever you desire. To stop it, simply let go of the speed or the bale, whichever one comes first, whatever's most comfortable for you. And it's gonna stop within about three seconds. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy cutting your grass. Thanks for watching.